uh, yes, uh, Thomas, of course, but... Uh, but what, Percy? Out with it. Well, there is another engine with a famous branch line, too. Who? Where? His name's Stepney. He's far away. But Sir Topham Hatt says he may visit us. When? Stepney is based on the real-life locomotive of the same name, and the story of his rescue to the Bluebell Railway mirrors what happened to the real locomotive in 1960, being when his real-life counterpart was saved from scrap by the Bluebell Railway. You can probably see the connection. Stepney appeared in the railway series book Stepney the Bluebell Engine, which was published in 1963, and while he was not the first real-life locomotive to appear in book, he was the first of two real engines to have a book of their own when they came to the island of Sodor, the second being Wilbert. In the television series, however, in 1995, Stepney will be introduced to the fourth season of Thomas and Friends, where he's rescued from scrap by Rusty and taken to Sodor, where now he works on the Bluebell Railway on his branch line. Or is it his branch line or the Bluebell Railway? I, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Nonetheless, he would reprise his role from the Railway series. His last official speaking role in the TV series was in Stepney Gets Lost in Season 5. In Season 6, he would appear as a primarily non-speaking background character, and in Season 7, he was used primarily for stock footage. Since the 8th to 11th series, he was widely absent, as the stories would primarily focus on the steam team, rather than the engines around them. Stepney did, however, have a minor role in the 12th season episode, Rosie's Funfair Special, where he's hit by a runaway truck of sugar that broke away from Rosie's train. Unfortunately, however, Stepney has not appeared in the television series since 2008. Getting into the models of Stepney, as you probably guessed, Stepney's Gage 1 model was a custom build. The body was made primarily from brass, and it would be painted using glossy car body paint and lined with red and gold automotive pinstripe tape. The chassis was a CNC construction and made from scratch. Its motor was powered via pickups on the metal wheels, and his eye mechanism would have two servos, one for up and down movement and one for left and right movement. He would have 10 different facial expressions sculpted for him, and unlike a lot of characters, all of his faces were actually seen on screen. The faces were first sculpted in clay, and from that resin casts were made using a silicone mold. Currently, five of Stepney's faces are owned by Twitter user Tom's Props. In the episodes Rusty to the Rescue, Thomas and Stepney, and Stepney Gets Lost, Stepney was seen with one or two lamps, and these are powered by a hidden battery pack inside of his body. And throughout the model series, Stepney would have several changes. In Season 4, in most US versions of Thomas and Stepney, his whistle sound is changed to smudgers, although the usual one that he shares with Reneus is heard once which doesn't make a lot of sense. In season five, his whistle sound would change again, this time being Scarloe's whistle, just reused. In season six, his paint will be given a matte finish and his smoke box saddle painted yellow. And in season 12, his paint and livery became a bit shinier and his whistle would change again to Thomas's, but at one step higher pitched. It's also Bill's whistle, but 12 steps lower pitched. The game of whistles gets very confusing, if you couldn't already tell. Stepney's Gage 1 model used to be on display at Drayton Manor and wore his chuckling face, but went missing in December 2018. There were days where he was taken off of the Thomas and Friends exhibit, so when he first disappeared, most assumed that it was normal. But with him not reappearing since then, most people assume that he was either stolen or completely broken. And honestly, I don't really know which one's worse. Though I do have hopes that somebody was able to save him, though unfortunately I can't confirm this. Stepney also had a close-up model made, which was used for close-up shots of his cab, but also would be used for close-up whistle shots, and the whistle that he had would actually emit smoke. His close-up model, however, was unfortunately not complete, and only portions of his cab were built. It would appear in the 4th, 5th, and 12th seasons. And unfortunately, because the show kind of forgot about him, his story ends there. Since season 12, we haven't heard or seen anything of Stepney, and that's 12 entire seasons, and that's a lot of time for a character to fall into obscurity, and honestly get forgotten about. But Stepney doesn't really fit into that case. As for being so forgotten and basically shunned by the show, the fan following behind Stepney is insane. Personally, I would argue it rivals Boko's, where almost every Thomas and Friends fan just loves the character for one reason or another, and I have to say that rings true with myself. As a kid, I never really had many Stepney toys, but I do remember having a take-along and Trackmaster Stepney that I played with all the time, and I really wish I still had them, as I always appreciated Stepney and the episodes that contained him. The Bluebell Railway has to be one of my favorite sets from the model series, or Stepney's Branch Line, whatever you want to call it. It's so aesthetic and always stuck out to me, and is partially to blame for why I myself focus so heavily on aesthetics. And if that wasn't inspiring enough, the story of Stepney is too, just like Oliver being saved from scrap. And that's something every Thomas and Friends fan loves to see. And even though it wasn't a lot, I'm happy that we got the bit of Stepney that we did get.
Also, just as a funny little tidbit of information, Britt Allcroft actually tried to sue the Bluebell Railway, thinking that they had stolen Stepney from Thomas and Friends and her, when that was not the case at all. Stepney existed very, 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 very long before then. So yeah, that got dropped pretty quickly. And I think that's hilarious. But that, ladies and gentlemen, has been the story and history behind Stepney and his models. Unfortunately, not as filled as I wish it was, but a video I'm still thankful to make. And thank you to everyone who voted in this week's poll, deciding that Stepney would be this week's episode. Right now, I'm thinking next week is going to be between Scarloe, Annie and Clarabelle, and the Troublesome Trucks, but that could very well change. If there's any character or thing that you guys would like to see from the model series, be sure to let me know down below and I can very easily change or add to that roster. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content and as always, thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, someday. And Percy hurried away.